Welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts. So many people have said to me, why do I give alcohol inks in resin such a bad time? And some people have been quite nasty and offensive with their messages and comments. And it is literally only my opinion. I always say it's my opinion. My intention today is to show you why I'm not a fan of alcohol inks in resin. Now, I love what they look like when they're first made. I really do. I think they look beautiful. And I love painting with alcohol inks. And I still paint with alcohol inks. What I'm going to do is try and do two projects that are exactly the same. But treat them a little bit differently. And you'll see why I'm not a fan of using alcohol inks in resin. I've got my resin all mixed up here. And it really doesn't matter what brand of resin you're using. The, the effect that you get with these alcohol inks is going to be the same. So don't worry about the brand that I'm using or the brand that you use. I'm bursting my bubbles that are on the top, although the alcohol in the alcohol inks will probably do this, but it's just more of a habit than anything. And I'm using the Pinata alcohol inks. And what I'm going to do is try and make these coasters exactly the same. Now, I know that's almost impossible with alcohol inks, but I'm going to put the same amount of drops in each one and in the same place. Oh, be sure, please, to check out my other channel it really would make me happy it makes me very sad when people don't watch that channel i make some great stuff over there upcycling recycling and lots of different crafts that i try and show so i look forward to seeing you over there so again placing all my drops in and around in the same place now it's the pinata white that everybody uses for this and it's what draws the alcohol inks down. You'll start to see the reaction with the resin in a minute. It's so hypnotic to watch and relaxing. I love it. I could just sit and watch what these do and how they mix and blend once you put the white in all day. I think I should just do a video on that maybe. So putting the same amount of drops in and around of that. And now adding some colour on top of that. You can already see that white purling those alcohol inks down. Oh, how lovely is that? So I'm going in now with my different colour on the top of that white. And again, that will help to push that white out to the sides and draw it down. Look at that movement. It's so beautiful. And the colours are so vibrant. This is what I do love about alcohol inks. Now, please... I'd like to say a huge thank you to my members. Your support is just overwhelming. Thank you so much. I'm so pleased you're so active in the group. We're having an amazing time in there. And I'm glad you're enjoying all the additional videos and tips and tricks and support that I give. If you'd like to become a member, the link for that is in the description below. Along with a lot of other useful links as well. So continuing in, going on top of this white now that I've just put in and that again will help draw that in and move that around. Here are the names to everybody that got me a coffee last month. It really is appreciated. Your tips for my video that you give through the coffees certainly helps me buy all the stuff that I need and to carry on doing these sorts of experiments and projects to help save you money and help you gain more information and knowledge about your resin. I always like to give a little bit of a blast from a distance with my heat gun when I've used anything like this because I feel it helps thin out the resin a little bit and gives a little bit better result. And now I'll leave these to cure. Well, these have cured now and they have cured up. And to be honest, it's very unusual for me to get two really quite similar looking coasters using this method so now all i need to do is demold them now i'm not too worried about the other side this isn't about what these are going to be looking like the other side because the white has dropped quite a lot in there it wouldn't have done that if i'd have had it a little bit thicker but i didn't want it too thick because i wanted it coaster thickness so what i'm going to do now is test and show you how color fast alcohol inks are or aren't so they're very similar on the back they're very similar on the front what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these inside this jiffy bag so it's all nicely sealed up and put it in some put it somewhere really dark so it's not exposed to any light. The other one I'm going to put in my living room and leave it around my living room for a, for a few weeks, probably about three or four weeks with general sunlight that comes into my living room to show you 
the damage that sunlight and light does to alcohol inks and why I don't like using alcohol inks in resin. It's been two weeks now since I made these two resin coasters using alcohol ink. I'm working on a white background so you can see the comparisons of the colours. Now this is the one that's been in the living room and in a sunnyish sort of position and from looking at that it doesn't look too bad and there's the colours but we need to compare this against the original and this is the original one that I wrapped up and then put in an envelope in the dark place so you could see what it looks like so there's the comparison can you see? look at the difference this one is completely washed out look at all the lovely vibrant colors that are in this one and the other side is well you wouldn't believe that, would you, the other side? And that's just after two weeks. Well, it's been a month now since I did this, and to be honest, looking at it like this, it's not too bad. It's still quite colourful, both sides. But it does look a little bit washed out. Let's compare it to the one that I've had all wrapped up that has had no sunlight whatsoever. Now, don't forget, this is a coaster, so it's been in a fairly sunny position. It's been out, it's not been inside, where this one has been covered up and inside the whole time. And in that envelope. So the difference is... Well, it, there's just no comparison to the difference, is there? Look at it. And you know, you can see these are still the same coaster. <laughs> Unbelievable. And that, my friends, is how quickly alcohol inks will fade. Let's look at the other side. Look at that. I mean, they've just gone. All the colours, all the beautiful colours are gone. And quite a washed out look now. And can you imagine what this would be like in probably another six weeks time or six months time and this is what a lot of people don't tell you when they're using alcohol inks in resin i think they do look pretty look how pretty that is all those little feathery bits that are coming round but you make someone something in jewelry with this and you charge them for it you're going to have complaints because unless you tell that person only to wear it at night and always wrap it up and put it in a jewelry box and they do that then this is what's going to happen and if you're making someone coasters or pictures or things, then, you know, again, this is what's going to happen to them. I've not done anything special to this other than leave it out in sunlight. It's very disappointing. And I am disappointed because I love the effect that alcohol inks give to start with. I really do. And I love watching them sink and rise. And I think they look beautiful. But this is why I'm always saying, please don't use them in your stuff if you're going to sell it. Or please don't use it in your stuff if you want it to look like that. Because it's just not going to look like that. I know people will say, well, I don't use piñata alcohol inks. All alcohol inks are going to do this. I'm really sorry to tell you. I hope you found this video informative and useful. I look forward to reading your comments. But please, I don't want any nasty comments. I don't read them anymore. They just get blocked. I will link everything that I've used today in the description below, as always. Along with the link to buy me a coffee. And I hopefully, I've saved you a lot of hassle and a lot of money. And hopefully, a lot of complaints from customers. If you've been thinking of using alcohol inks in your resin. Be sure to check out the video that's coming up next. I think you'll really enjoy that one. I look forward to seeing you there. Take care. Bye.